Today we have a new Google Gemini model that just came out and you can use it completely for free right now. So watch the whole video from start to finish, it's going to be super fast and let's get started. So this new model is Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is just the typical monthly update that Google does to each models. So one month ago they released Gemini 2.5 Pro and this month they release an update to this model that boosts this model by 24 points in the LM arena and essentially it improves on its own best performance. So it's a new SOTA model that, repra that replaces the previous SOTA model which was again the same model just with the training data of one month ago. And also it did a 35 point jump on web dev arena. So this is a big step forward it's actually back to the top of the ladder on Web Div Arena. They just surpassed Cloud for Opus. And let's see exactly what happens with the benchmarks. So it got huge improvement in code editing. It continues to be a very good coding model and it also improved its performance on humanity's last exam, which is considered to be one of the most major benchmarks that are actually used right now by reasoning models. So let's see in detail the exact benchmarks. And after that, I'm going to show you how to use it completely for free. And we're going to do some very small tests. So guys, this is the actual benchmark. Let's get into details about what we're seeing here. But before we do so, I just want to let you know that currently I have a very cheap AI course that tells you how to use AI tools to make more money, become more productive. It's going to be down below in the description. You pay only once, you get all of the updates for a year or so, and it's a very good way for you to support and help the viability of this channel. So if you would like to learn more about AI, this course is for you. So these are currently the benchmarks. So here we can see a good improvement in humanity's last exam. It has the best performance in it without using tools. We can see it being compared to O3 High, O4 Mini High, Cloud4 Opus with Thinking and Grok3 with extended thinking, as well as the latest DeepSeeker 1, which was released like eight days ago. Now, if you want to show, now if you want to see exactly what we can build with this tool, I will drop the link of the video down below in the description so you can go ahead and watch us build stuff with it or just press the subscribe button because that video is not yet uploaded. So we can see here on the science benchmark, the GPQA diamond, it has like again, SOTA performance. SOTA means state of the art. On mathematics, it's very close to O3. O4 mini is just a little better, but who cares about mathematics? Already these models are super smart. And on live code bench, which is on code generation, it does a very good job. It's a little less better than O4 mini, but always this kind of, you know, benchmarks, all of these benchmarks, take them with a grain of salt. Loads of people say that Cloud4 Opus thinking is the best coding model out there, but it only has like 50% in here. I don't like it personally, I have made two videos talking bad about it, but that's what most people say, they might know something more than me, probably they don't. So then we have this code editing, we see a huge difference compared to other models. It's really state of the art in this benchmark, only fought by O3 High. Also keep in mind that it's one of the cheapest models for input prices and it's also very cheap for output prices. Like we're talking about $10 per million tokens and $15 for more than 200,000 tokens. So it's sitting around O3 and O4 mini while having the best performance out of the two in most scenarios, in most cases. So what this means, this means that OpenAI needs to come up with their O3 Pro version and drop prices because right now there is no reason to use O3 high O4 mini maybe you want to go O4 mini just for coding and mathematics just to save money compared to Gemini 2.5 Pro but 
You know, Claude also is way too costly for what it offers, at least, and you know, up to the benchmarks. You know, it's it's pretty insane. And what we see here is image understanding, visual reasoning, factuality. This model is so good on this kind of things, which is insane. Also, long context, very, very good job. Like, this model is very good and a very good all-around model that is very, very cheap. It's actually very cheap, guys. So this is an amazing product by Google. I think it's PMF, product market fit. And yeah, I think this is insane. This is pretty, pretty insane. Like, you know, they can aggressively price these things and I'm going to show you how to use it completely for free. So what you want to do is go to Google AI Studio and here you want to go in this run setting and you want to select this new model. They also recently released Gemini 2.5. Five plus preview, which is another new model, very good model. And you can see that you can use it completely for free right now in the platform, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you could like type here and just run it. You could also get an API key and you are good to go. So let's type here, hi. So let's see, we select the model and we type hi. So this is essentially the chat model for Google's developers. So what it does, it is thinking. Also, you've got to understand that this model right now in here is a model that actually trains on your data. So any prompt you put in here, you are going to you, you know, get your data trained on. So make sure to always play it safe. Here you can also change the thinking pattern, set the thinking budget. It can go to 32,000 in terms of thinking. I think when they will be able to scale the number of outputs, it's going to be pretty insane. You could also set like code execution, structured input output, URL context, grounding with Google search. All of these things are super powerful tools. And they're always, you know, they're just going to get more and more than that. Like these models are becoming so agentic. They're going to be amazing. So guys, this is the video for today. I'm going to make another video to show you how you can build anything with it. Stay, stay tuned. It's going to drop in like eight to 10 hours.